Hell yeah. Hello, it's great to see you. He's good to be seen. Jordan 3s? Uh, yeah. These are, are the, uh, yeah. I'm rocking Jordan 1s here. Yeah, well, one's a real part. I just, you know what? It's it's funny because Omas yeah. actually got me into Jordans. I, okay. Like I've never worn Jordans. Don't really like Jordans. I don't like Michael Jordan, so I'm not really into the whole Jordan trend. But yeah. I kind of got into it little by little, and I got this big seven foot three guy who's been an influence on me to wear Jordans. So. L.A. Knight made some comment about his boots looking like Jordan 11s, and I was confused. He's like, you don't know what Jordan 11s look like? So he got me into this, and I'm like, oh, okay, I feel like I need to figure this all out now. Yeah, I had to tighten up with the with, with the, the youth movement, and, and you know, because our Jordans are from my era. I just never sure. liked the guy, so. I don't know, you're pretty youthful, I'd say. I, I try to be. Yeah. I try to be. I'm trying to hold it together. A lot of just for men, though. I mean, ah, we don't need to. Nobody needs to know about that. I don't know. I'm not ashamed of it. You know, okay. I, I, I was just. Told. told, lose the grade, please. I, I thought you were looking at my grades there. No, no, no. Uh, I was, you know, okay. kind of yeah, lose yeah, the grade, yeah. please. I, lo I love that you're in WWE. I, like, I remember we talked last time I saw you. You were like, yeah, it was supposed to be like a one-off thing, and here you are. What is it? Two plus years later, you're still doing it. A little longer than that. Yeah, it was yeah. Like 2020. It was when yeah, it was. Wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. Through the pandemic, so it's great to be here. You know, I, 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 it's funny because I was telling a friend of mine a while back, like I was going to retire. I just wanted to come back so my son could see me, and you know. And then became a producer, and then the pandemic hit, and hey, can you help us out with talent? And you know, yeah, yeah. next thing you know, I'm, all these years later, I'm having that that mythical one more run. You know, you hear the old man, if I get to New York, man, one more run, I got one more. I'm getting that, that mythical one more run, so I'm very fortunate. But as a manager, you could have one more run for like 10 more years. Yeah, well, you know, Paul Heyman has been a, a, an extremely influential figure in my career and you know he said publicly and privately he said I didn't bring you here to compete with me I brought you here to replace me and that's praise from Caesar you know wow. so yeah. what do you think is the biggest thing you've learned from Paul oh man presentation okay. presentation everything is presentation I can say a sentence to you one way and I present it to you and it has a completely different context if I present it to you another way same words yeah. it's all in how I present it to you so, I love that. Well, I'm not going to take up all your time here. So good to see you. Well, it's good to be seen. Congrats on everything, my man. And I like this, too. Thank you. That's a, we both got the microphones here. And, and it's true. It's true. 